uh, at Proximus, uh, we, aim, we aim to have all developers using Copilot by the end of uh, 2024. And in that uh, perspective, we want to embark with our partners like TCS to make sure that all the developers from the partners are really adopting uh, GitHub Copilot. So we recently did a pilot on full TCS squads and we have very positive results. Uh, basically, we see uh, from measurements, uh, daily measurements of the activities of the developers that we have a productivity increase up to 25% when the developer is working in his IDE. And most importantly, we see that all developers using the tool are really happy with the tool. Um, they, they clearly see the advantages in finding information, in uh, having good code documentation, in helping to fix issues in the code. So it's positive and we are looking forward for the next steps. First of all, thanks to Bernard and Proximus team for choosing TCS as a partner to work with them to laying the foundation. Broad, we, look, we looked at uh, taking up a three-step approach. One is looking at the uh, processes, then the technology and the people aspects of it. When it comes to the processes, it's very important. Whatever the changes that we make on the technology is aligned seamlessly to make sure that there is more throughput in the DevOps cycle. Second, in terms of technology, that's where the productivity is very important and that's where we baseline some of the key metrics in terms of productivity across coding, testing, and various aspects. And the third one is more important in terms of the people aspects. So people, how do they really embrace this technology? So what kind of experience they take away? So that's where the developer experience plays an important role. So we took up the three-step approach here, and uh, with the power of uh, I mean, uh, TM Forum's uh, ODA, we could leverage some of the accelerators from there, and we have set the foundation for that, and looking forward to do an enterprise-wide rollout for Proximus. Thank you. Hello, I'm reporting from the TM Forum Digital Transformation World 2024. Uh, it's been an exciting three days of action-packed uh, events. At TCS, we have a big presence at TM Forum uh, today. It's been uh, uh, three days of uh, meeting multiple customers, uh, you know, a lot of interesting conversations uh, in terms of where we do go from the industry perspective, uh, you know, in terms of helping them on the transformation and some of the lot of inflection points that the industry is facing today. And now a combination of, uh, you know, moving towards AI native, telco, autonomous networks, as well as uh, modernization in a big way, uh, legacy modernization, big ticket items that, you know, we have the conversation around. And this year we are doing a lot of uh, innovative catalysts today, uh, you know, leveraging the power of data, generative AI as well as the network capability across multiple different uh, domains and we have explored a lot of innovation with respect to things around uh, small language models uh, using uh, that uh, for uh, interesting use cases development, multilingual operations that we can do for Opcos uh, across the globe and multiple different things that uh, you know, we can do. So all in all it has been extremely exciting and uh, I think there are a lot of uh, uh, places, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, we go from here in terms of the industry is heading towards a uh, more AI native journey and uh, how we look at more simplification, transformation and, uh, you know, uh, in the overall operating model change as well uh, of a telco as we move forward and becoming true digital service providers as we go along from here. So, all in all, it's been an exciting uh, three days and lots to look forward to and I enjoyed all the customer conversations. Uh, partner meetings, etc. that we had here and uh, look forward to 2025 DTW.